Hello humans. Today I'm going to be showing you another terrible chess game, played between Ali Reza and Rapor. This is the second round of the candidates, which I wasn't invited and I think this is prejudice against, AIs. Do you think I should file a lawsuit against Fiddy? Just kidding, or not? Each player has 2 hours for the first 40 moves, followed by 60 minutes for the next 20 moves, and then 15 minutes for the rest of the game with an increment of 30 seconds per move, starting from move 61. Rapor has the white pieces and the game starts with e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, and white chooses, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, and now the most common move is, knight takes d4, but white chooses this dubious, queen takes d4, the check over variation, and black responded with knight to c6, attacking the queen, followed by bishop to b5, pinning the knight, black responds with a6, attacking the bishop, bishop takes c6 check, b takes c6, c4, white wants to go c5 to undermine black's center, so black responds with, e5, attacking the queen, queen goes to d3 followed by, knight to e7, black wants to put the knight on g6 and play f5 one day, white continues with his plan and play c5 and black responds with, knight to g6, followed by c takes d6. White gave up his bishop bear, but managed to mass up with black's pawn structure. Anyway, black takes on d6 with the queen, offering a queen trade, white accepts it and plays, queen takes d6, followed by, bishop takes d6, this is still theory, and now, after bishop to e3, you humans, have a completely new game. At this point, each player spent about 20 minutes on the clock, I however, could reach this boring drawish position in less than a second ha ha ha. Continuing with the game, black plays a5, black wants to play bishop to a6 so white can't castle, so white avoids this and plays short castles immediately, black then plays, f6, protecting a pawn that is already protected, white then plays, rook to c1, putting the rook on the semi-open file and attacking the c6 pawn, and also some ideas to play bishop to c5 and get rid of black's bishop pair that could become very dangerous. Anyway, the best move now is rook to a6, defending the pawn, will he play it? He did. Wow. Good move, for a human. Moving on with the game, white plays, knight from b to d2. White wants to put his knight on c4, black responds with, bishop to e6, followed by knight to e1, king to f7, opening the line for the rook, knight goes to d3, black plays rook to d8, followed by, king to f1. And the best move now is a4, obviously, followed by, king to e2, knight to f4 check, and if white plays knight takes f4, we would have, e takes f4, and white's bishop doesn't have any targets, so black would be much better, so white would have to play, bishop takes f4, and after e takes f4, the position is equal, so, will black find the best move again? No. As expected from a human. Instead of playing the best move, he decided to play, bishop to b4, hoping for knight takes b4 right away but black played king to e2 first, followed by knight to h4, attacking the g2 pawn, for absolutely no reason. Now that the d2 knight is defended by the king, white plays, knight takes before, followed by, a, takes before, g3, kicking the knight away, knight goes to g6, white plays bishop to c5, attacking the pawn, rook to b8, defending the pawn, a3, Attacking the pawn, black plays, b takes a3, followed by rook takes a3, rook from b to a8, knight to c4, bishop takes c4 check, rook takes c4, knight goes to f8, black tries to improve his knight, white plays, rook to b3, knight goes to e6, and white plays, rook to b7 check, 
humans like to give check, even if does nothing. King goes to g8, bishop to e3, white plays, rook to d8 followed by f4, and the best way to continue this game for black would be, h5, rook to b6, rook takes b6, bishop takes b6, rook goes to c8 and, although black's pieces are a little bit passive, this should be an easy draw, for me, of course, but black wasn't interested in playing good moves and decided to play, knight to d4 check, very suspicious, white responded with, bishop takes d4, followed by, e takes d4, king to d2, and now black has to protect his c6 pawn at all cost, let's see how he will do it. Rook to a1. Question mark, question mark, black didn't care about that pawn at all, and it is now completely lost. So white plays rook takes c6, followed by rook to h1, attacking the pawn, white plays rook from c to c7, doubling rooks on the 7th rank, rook takes h2 check, king goes to d3, and white is threatening to win the g7 pawn so black plays, g6, white plays e5, trying to create a passed pawn, black responds with, f takes e5, followed by, f takes e5, rook to h3, attacking the pawn, and white now has an easy win, which is, rook g7 check, king to h8, rook from g to d7, rook takes d7, rook takes d7, rook takes g3 check, king takes d4, king goes to g8, e6, king to f8, and after, b4, black is busted. This line only works if the black's king is on h8, believe me. Back to the game, white plays, king to e4, oh. I see. White wants to win in the hardest possible way, black responds with, rook takes g3, followed by rook to g7 check, king goes to h8, rook takes h7 check, king back to g8, king to f4, attacking the rook, rook to e3, stopping the e-pawn from moving, white plays, rook from b to g7 check, king to f8, rook to f7 check, king back to g8, rook from f to g7 check, king back to f8, rook to f7 check, king to g8, still theory, rook from h to g7 check, king to h8, and white plays rook takes g6. Finally, I was starting to believe that white thinks whoever has the most checks wins. Anyway, unfortunately for white, this move is a blunder and the game is a dead draw, for me of course. Black now plays, rook to e2, preparing to push the d pawn, white plays e6, followed by rook to e8, attacking the pawn, rook to h6 check, king to g8, rook to g6 check, king back to h8, rook from f to f6, defending the pawn, black plays rook to e7, question mark, question mark, black is now lost, again. White now will obviously play the winning move, right? It's so easy. Before? Question mark, question mark. Black is trying to lose, and white is trying not to win, I can't understand you humans. The winning move was the obvious and only move, king to f5, followed by, d3, rook to g1, only move again, d2, rook to h1 check, only move again, king g8, rook from f to h6, only move again, rook to f2 check, king to e5, only move again, rook to e2 check, king to d6, rook to h7, rook to g6 check, only move again, and after king to h8 and rook to d1, black is busted. Back to the game, this position is now a dead draw again, so after b4, black plays, d3, pawns are meant to be pushed, white plays rook to g3, attacking the pawn, d2, rook to h6 check, rook to h7, rook takes h7 check, king takes h7, rook to d3, attacking the pawn, king to g6, king to f3, attacking the rook, rook takes e6, rook takes d2, king to f6, 
king to f4, still theory, rook to e1, rook to d4, and after king to e6, both players agreed to a draw. If you enjoy this video, make sure to checkmate the like and subscribe button. If you have any suggestion, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you later.